disasters happen, we take care of them all. Call. Wearing the Jersey, presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration, the official restoration company of the Mountaineers. In this 2015 season, the Mountaineer offense and the offensive line in particular is under a lot of scrutiny. Anchoring the right side of that line is Marquise Lucas. The expectations of Lucas are huge. He's not only expected to perform, but as a fifth-year senior, he's expected to lead. To push the young guys as, you know, as hard as he can and um, make sure you get your good work in and make sure you're doing everything you need to do you know, as a leader. So when you have to you know, get on someone, you know, they have the respect for you to you know, take it in. He takes a lot of pride in his team this football program, this university. So, you know, it, it's natural that he would be one of those guys. And he has a strong voice with our team that people look up to and people believe in him. So we, we've talked a lot about how to how to be a positive influence, how to lead the right way, and he's, he's doing a really good job with it so far. Lucas was an all-Dade County performer at Miami Central. And except for a small stint on the defensive side, the tackle position is pretty much all Marquise played in high school. Lucas played guard for a good deal of his early career, but offensive line coach Ron Crook saw something and moved him back to tackle. We moved him to tackle because that was, uh, in our opinion, the way we could get our best five players on the field. And we moved him up there and saw that he could, he could handle it pretty well and he could move pretty well and he could you know, handle that edge pretty good. So we just kept him there and let him develop and, and you know, we, we think it's paying off for us. Now. If you spend any time around Marquise Lucas, you can't help but notice that smile. One thing that keeps it on his face these days is fatherhood. In the offseason, he had a son, which presented Lucas with one of those life-changing decisions. He decided to temporarily leave his child in Florida and finish his degree here in West Virginia. It was rough leaving him in February because, you know, um, they, I got to go home. You know, I was there for his birth. Um, and they gave me, you know, a couple of days after, but it's been hard ever since, you know, and the little time we have home is, is just not enough, but it's probably one of the hardest things I've had to do, but I know I'm, what I'm doing right now is going to help better both of our futures, so, you know, I just, I just have to stay strong. I'm a fifth year senior, you know, that's, that's five years, but it doesn't even feel like it. It's crazy because, you know, it went by so fast, you know, it went by in the blink of an eye. Definitely approaching every game thinking like, you know, hey, this could possibly be my last game. You know, that's, that's just how I'm looking at it. You know, um, time's up. You know, it's either, you know, put up or shut up. Now, there's one thing that Lucas always wanted to do as a Mountaineer, and he did it before the Liberty game. He got to drop the hammer. Now, the first time I saw it actually live was my freshman year. We were um, actually playing Maryland. And uh, Will Clark dropped it. That was my first game. You know, I got to like suit up and everything. So just seeing him with that hammer in his hands, you know, everybody around him fired up, and then you know him dropping it, just it just looked powerful, you know. And it's something I always admired. It was something I always wanted to do. And thank God I was able to do it. 